It's time to put your worries aside and take a mental break before you fall asleep. You deserve a mental vacation at the end of every day. So let your bedtime routine be the time that's just for you. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. And if you know anyone else who's struggling with falling asleep or staying asleep, send them over to Michelle's Sanctuary. It's an honor and privilege to help you dream away. This week's sleep story is sponsored by Live Lab, a U.S. and French company founded by ex-insomniacs and sleep experts. If you prefer to listen to sleep stories with headphones, which I recommend, then you know it's hard to find something that feels good throughout the night. Homeband is a comfortable audio headphone with flat speakers so that your ears won't hurt while you're sleeping. Homeband comes with an app, and I've created original sleep stories for them. Some of them include the Magical Igloo, New York Harbor, the Ancient Temple, and the Orient Express. I want to thank them for supporting this sanctuary and for helping my mission to help others dream away. If you want to enjoy these exclusive stories and a night of comfortable sleep, give Whom Band a try. Save 25% by using the promo code SANCTUARY. The link is in the description. Get ready for a relaxing journey through time with the sleep story for grown-ups that will guide you into a deep and restful sleep. You are listening to Sleep in 1976, a soothing bedtime tale set in a popular beach town where life was simpler and carefree. This is the first installment of a new time travel series where each sleep story will transport you to a different era and immerse you in its unique atmosphere. Tonight's journey is all about having fun and enjoying the moment. As you roller skate beneath the dreamy sunset skies, the best tunes of 1976 play from the boardwalk. Later, you explore the main drag and drive your convertible on the beach feeling an exhilarating sense of freedom. You end the night with a bonfire on the beach, surrounded by friendly neighbors under an ethereal full moon. Back in your beach house, you drift to sleep, listening to the calming sound of the waves as you cuddle with your cat. So relax, let go, and let your mind wander to another era. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle. Whenever you listen, please think of me as an ally on your quest to take care of yourself each night. I am here to make it easier for you to drift between wakefulness and a night of deeply restorative sleep. Let this practice stir up the unlimited powers of your imagination. Feel free to customize the details of this story in the way that best suits your sense of whimsy and fun. And know you may fall asleep whenever you please. If the tug of slumber becomes too much to resist, take advantage of the safety and comfort that meets you at the end of the day. Protected between the walls of your room, you are free to go deep within the sanctuary of your body and mind. In the sacred place, you create the world you inhabit. Every thought can take you to a new destination as you string together ideas that immerse you in serenity, wiggle and stretch, and do whatever you need to do to get comfortable before you find stillness. 
And when you feel ready, open your mouth in a big yawn. Luxuriate in the feeling of letting go and standing down and sigh. And with this exhalation, celebrate the freedom to do whatever feels good right now. You earned it. You may look forward to sleep like you would the vacation of your dreams because you are the mastermind behind it all. Slip into this easy pattern of breathing to let go of your day and send the message to your brain that you are ready to slow down. Inhale as slowly as feels comfortable to you. Expand with ease and feel light as your lungs fill with air. And then yawn. Sigh. Make a sound letting everything go. Two more rounds of this, going deeper each time. Let your breath take on the tempo of gentle waves rolling onto the sand in the bewitching glow of a full moon. As you inhale, yawn, and sigh, send a promise with the next round. The promise that you will do everything you can tonight to take care of your body. Every cell receives this message and prepares to stand down. Feel how much more relaxed you have become with a few conscious breaths. Return your breathing to normal because it's time for the story to begin. In any given year, on any given day, there are upsides and downsides to everything. But as you find yourself rolling across a beachside skating rink on a warm evening in 1976. The upsides are all that you notice. The laces of your roller skates are tied tightly, supporting you as you glide across the rink with an ease akin to walking. The ocean breeze supports you as it softly hits your back, ushering you forward to the sounds of one of your favorite tunes from the year. The orange gold sun and fiery sky cast the beach in shimmering, saturated light. The brown gradient lenses of your aviator sunglasses Soften the colors into a heavenly haze. Beachgoers end their day relaxing on benches on the pier and taking in the view of dozens of skaters moving with freedom and an enviable commitment to having a good time. Sunset joggers dressed in striped white tube socks and track shorts in an array of primary colors pace themselves, running on the packed sand. They carefully avoid the crashing waves before the high tide arrives. A game of volleyball takes place beyond the rink and in the distance in the sand. You watch a golden retriever get in a final game of fetch with a teen girl 
dressed in a yellow romper. Every fashionable trend of the time is represented by fellow skaters, from denim bell bottoms to vibrantly hued halter tops paired with colorful hip huggers. A trio of young women with varying long hair that flows in feathery beachy waves and tightly coiled curls Link their arms together as they skate and convey an otherworldly spirit. The bell sleeves of their chiffon crop tops capture the sunlight, nebulous and hypnotic. Black velvet choker necklaces wrap around their graceful necks Adorned with crescent moon charms, they emulate the bewitching gestures of Stevie Nicks as a Fleetwood Mac song begins to play, and they are taken by the sky. The air is balmy. A soft breeze carries the faint, lingering fragrance of Hawaiian tropic tanning oil from the beach. Notes of coconut nectar, guava, pineapple, and vanilla blend harmoniously with the saltwater air, forever creating a pleasant memory tied to the scent. You revel in your ability to find balance and surrender to the sounds of the ocean and the catchy songs that everyone seems to know by heart. The beat guides your legs. The melodic hooks inspire your arms and body to sway. Every song allows you to be caught up in a memory or hope tied to universal feelings of being in love, of yearning for something more, of tiptoeing into another realm, led by the mystical seventh and ninth chords of popular progressions in the songs. You need not know how to identify or play these chords, to understand that every time they come up in a song, the sound waves go straight through your ribs and warm your heart. If there were a theme for this summer, it would be a summer of carefree youth and independence. Once the sun has set and the sky turns a rich shade of blue, mirror balls shower the rink with tiny flashes of light. Swept up in the music, you circle round and round, wishing the night could go on forever. You are lost in time and move with the sage understanding of someone who has lived long enough to not care what anyone thinks about them. You have no need to fit in and belong. You know what you like and need. Yet at the same time, this rebellious spirit and self-possession attract people to you. Yet you also embody the hope and vivacity of your younger self, still curious about what life has in store. As you skate around the rink, 
you remember that you get to choose the attributes and versions of yourself that you want to be. This feeling liberates you as you sing out loud and move your body. The congruous bass guitar adds a smooth driving rhythm that weaves around the crisp sounds of a hi-hat and snare drum. The music is so infectious that even the shyest and most reserved people at the sidelines tap their feet and sway their shoulders as they watch. Popular disco songs dominate the playlist as the stars come out and night reigns supreme. Candy Stanton sings about the need for young hearts to run free. And with a change in music, skaters dripping in sequins and metallic lame join the scene, synchronizing their dance moves as they spin and weave through the crowd like disco balls brought to life. Every muscle in your body has the warm, pleasant burn brought on by being active. You feel strong and vibrant. And while you could skate until dawn, you long to savor more experiences on this perfect night in 1976. You skate to the exit and retrieve your two-toned sneakers from the boardwalk, settling on a bench to change into them. You tie the laces of your roller skates together and swing them over your shoulder to walk back to your car. You follow the boardwalk past a beachside drive-in. Dozens of patrons sit in their cars to watch the new release of Logan's Run, a film set in 2274. It seems humankind has always wanted to travel to some time else. But as you enjoy the summer night in 76, you can't imagine wanting to be anywhere else in time. You descend the wooden steps from the boardwalk and walk through an alley where popular dives and seafood shacks are busy with Saturday date night crowds. The women balance on platform shoes with heels as wide and tall as toy skyscrapers. Their partners appreciate the cooler temps of the evening as they dress in garish polyester button downs that are not forgiving in the afternoon heat. The sultry, passionate voice of Linda Ronstadt cuts through the lively conversations and clinking of glasses as you make your way to the main drag. Up and down the boulevard, people come out to be social and to be seen. Lines form around disco clubs. The faces of women painted with electric blue eyeshadow, dark eyeliner, and peachy pink cheeks. The men boast sideburns 
and hair that grows beyond their jaw lines. The frenetic excitement of downtown is palpable, but part of you longs for a bit more quietude. You approach your Firebird convertible, painted in a custom coat of your favorite color. You climb into the buttery seat that curves around your spine and start the engine. The radio comes on with the latest hit by Elton John as you shift gears. You drive down the strip slowly, people watching as you go. And what you notice most as the neon signs and street lights illuminate the faces you pass is that they are happy and having a great time. It's as if everyone was served with a memo from the universe to have fun and live their weekend lives to the fullest. On Saturday night, recreation is their job. Everyone on the boulevard comes with the intention to connect with the world and with each other. To dance, to imbibe, and to feel all the feels. The air hits your face as you take in a deep breath smelling the ocean as you come to a winding sandy road leading to the beach. Cars are permitted in this section of the beach and you drive on the sand passing by gatherings and couples cuddling on the dunes and taking in the blanket of stars overhead. Not far from your beach house, you park the car to join your neighbors. Seated on a bed in a custom van with burgundy velvet walls and a star window is a woman plucking at her guitar. The full moon casts her in an ethereal glow as she looks out at the crashing waves as if they are beckoning to her. She sings a ballad from heart, her friends joining in on harmonies. Their voices fade like the sounds of sirens at sea. As you walk toward a bonfire to join your neighbors. They are an eclectic bunch of retirees, college kids, and couples. Brought together by this timeless tradition of gathering around a fire. You walk to an aluminum folding chair and sink into the seat of woven blue and white striped nylon bands. You bask in the glow of the fire that rises double your height, casting the group in tangerine gold light. A small radio sits atop a pile of sand. The crackling fire with its pops and hisses complements the analog sound. Kylie comes over 
to bring you a strawberry Shasta. Her gray eyes are like moons, wide and accented by her sleek bangs and mushroom haircut. She wears a blue jumpsuit and reminds you of Tony from Captain and Tennille. Whenever you see her, love will keep us together, becomes an earworm that plays on through the night. Her husband, Joel, stands somewhere behind a cloud of smoke that rises from a portable charcoal grill bearing a Coca-Cola logo. The smoky, burnt, sugary smell of barbecue sauce dripping on charcoal conjures memories of festive gatherings. You thank Kylie for the soda and wipe the condensation off the bright red can. You take a sip. Its sweet effervescence perfectly contrasts the ocean air that has left a salty residue on your lips. You watch the orange-gold flames dance, reaching for the pristine sky and feel a warm sensation radiate through your body. Sparks fly like wishes cast on the stars, and everyone who gathers tonight has at one point stood on this beach, brimming with hope and speaking their dreams out loud to the celestial expanse over the sea. Lulled by the group's mellow energy, their cordial conversations blend with the persistent susurrations of the crashing waves and you enjoy the timeless exchange of anecdotes, hopes and desires, and appreciation for the simple pleasures surrounding you. You cultivate the hope of spending many more nights like this. The radio DJ remarks that the upcoming bicentennial of America is weeks away with the promise of many more barbecues and celebrations of what feels like a country in its prime. The night wanes on and at some point an unspoken agreement between those tending to the fire causes it to die down. A couple takes off down the sand for a night swim beneath the full moon. Gradually, others in the group return to their beachside dwellings or venture out for a night on the boulevard. Feeling the most satisfied by a night as you could ever be, you yawn as tiredness moves in and say good night to everyone who remains. You return to your convertible and drive on the reflective bronze sand, feeling the misty ocean breeze on your face. You drive past vibrantly painted oceanside bungalows 
with tiki torches, plastic lawn flamingos, and colorful lights strung around patios overlooking the beach. As you park your car, you hear a sketch from Saturday Night Live coming from your neighbor's living room. The flickering television lights pour out the open windows and illuminate the tropical succulents between your properties. The deep belly laughter an infectious cackle of the married couple makes you smile. You watch the glistening waves, happy to be at home. A feeling of gratitude permeates you, brought on by the thrill of this journey through time. You turn off the car and study the console, running your hands across the many knobs to make this trip to 76 feel all the more real. You return to your beach house and enter through sliding doors that lead into the living room. You close a screen door, permitting the ocean breeze to flow through the single story home. The space is designed simply with neutral earth tones and random turquoise accents. One of your favorite pieces is a strobe light in the shape of a rectangular speaker. Whenever you make a sound, it illuminates the room with glowing rainbow light. A long-haired Maine Coon cat sleeps in an armchair covered with a colorful afghan throw. Sheer, light gold curtains waft on the breeze, catching the moonlight. You pick up your heavy cat and press her against your heart. She softly purrs and mews, waking up as you carry her along to the bedroom. You rely on the moonlight to guide you. The bedroom is decorated in a way that captures your favorite elements of the 70s. The bedroom frame rises out of the blue carpet like a wooden vessel in the deep sea. The round mattress is covered with a colorful bedspread and half a dozen pillows of different sizes. You place your cat on the end of the bed where she happily curls up in a ball and falls back asleep. The room is cavernous in the darkness of night, with wood paneled walls on three sides that make you feel safe. The fourth wall is made completely of glass with windows and sliding glass doors that look out onto the ocean. You prepare for bed 
and pull back the quilted bedspread and crisp sheets. Your eyes are heavy with sleep. Your body feels so tired. It will not be long before you land in a dreamy slumber. The comforting sounds of the ocean waves help you go deeper and deeper into a state of relaxation. Your feet are kept warm by your cat as she curls around them. You begin to fade away, blissfully drifting across the bridge between your waking and sleeping life until you can no longer resist the comforts of sleep and bringing with you every last loving impression from 1976. Finding bliss, finding peace, finding clarity, finding repose, finding sleep. It's time to dream away.